What's up my fellow fixers? And in this video, we're gonna be seeing if we can fix this Sega Mega Drive. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. And without further ado, my name is Scott and you're watching Scott Fix. Right, so we've got our Mega Drive plugged in and set up to go on our TV. So if we turn the power on, and the power is coming on, which is good. But if we look at our screen, we have a black screen. Mm, okay, so we're going to need to take this one apart and give it a little bit of TLC. See what we can do about fixing it. So we've just done a quick test on this and we are getting a black screen. Um, I believe that if it was working, it should be a blue screen. I could be wrong there. I'm not 100% sure. This is the first time I've ever worked on a Sega Mega Drive or a Genesis, if you are from the United States. Um, this one is, it's, it's, it's quite dirty, but it's not in that bad condition. Once I get it cleaned up, it'll look okay. Uh, the listing stated that it was in a untested state, um, which might be porcupines, but we shall see. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this apart and see if I can figure out why we are not getting a display. Um, so to do that, we have our six screws on the back, which I shall take out now. Okay, does this just pop off? Not 100% sure. That's our LED, isn't it? Yeah, that's our LED. Doesn't feel like it wants to disconnect. Um, okay, I'm not 100% sure how to get that off at the minute, so I'll just leave that connected for the second. So let's just look at what screws we have here. So we've got our plate in, so it looks like to be quite a few screws. Let's just start by taking these off. Uh, one more screw. Okay, that's our metal plate off. Let that screw go, there you are. You go back there. Right, can I just disconnect this? Does it require a fair? Hmm. Okay, I'll leave that be for the minute. So we have our motherboard over here. Um, right, so we want to be able to take that out. So do I need to remove this plate in here? I guess I do. Are there any screws actually holding it in? They don't appear to be. Aha, I've got a hidden screw under here. Okay, so this should now all just pop out. Good days. Okay, we'll get that to one side. Okay, there must be a way of taking this off. Um,
I don't want to damage this. If I'm thinking if I straighten these pins out, I should be able to pull that connector off. Aha, like that. See? Easy peasy. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? So we have our cartridge slot. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit and have a little look inside. So it actually looks in reasonably decent condition. I can't see any obvious signs of bent pins or dirt. What we're going to do is we're going to give this a good clean anyway, regardless. Um, and then what we can do is we can check solder at the back. I'll stick it under the microscope and just make sure we haven't got any cold joints. I might even just try reflying them to start off with and just see how we get on from there. But first of all, let's give our cartridge slot a nice good clean. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to get this under the microscope now and we're going to check out those solder joints around the back. Okay, so looking under the microscope, we can see that our soldering for our pins is actually looking quite nice still. So I'm not seeing any problems with any of them. We'll just look at these surrounding traces. Everything seems to be relatively good. I'm not seeing any damage anywhere. And we do have this little section here. It looks like there's a little bit of a scuff. I don't know what's caused that. Um, but yeah, back to our traces around okay so first impressions there doesn't appear to be any issues there okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little look around the board some more and see if I can spot anything and then I'll be back in a second okay so I'm just putting the cartridge slot underneath the microscope and it's amazing when you actually get this sort of magnification you can see just how much debris and stuff is actually built up inside there and I don't think any of this is actually stopping it from working but let's just see if we can and look at that there <laughs> it's just amazing what can actually get stuck in there over the years and look at that all sorts of rubbish um, but like I say, I don't think any of this is actually going to affect it working because all the actual contacts themselves seem to be reasonably good. Um, but I'm going to give this a, a, another thorough clean because clearly the toothbrush is not enough. I'm going to try and get in there and pick out some of this if I can because it's just a little bit disgusting. Um, but looking around just below the actual cartridge slot as well, let's just adjust. You can see very dirty so yeah I'm going to give all this a clean up as well and then we can have a proper look at these traces and see if there's any potential issues there look at that <laughs> there disgusting okay right let's get to it
Okay, I can't find any immediate problems anywhere, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it back in and give it another test, and then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, so we've got it put back together enough now to do some basic testing, so let's switch our power on. Oh, we can see now we're getting something on the screen. Ah, but it's still black. Oh, no. Oh my god, Sega. Is it going to load? Hey, <laughs> so literally it looks like all it needed was a good clean. Um, so let's give our little controller a little test. Does our controller work? No, our controller isn't working. Oh, problem number two. Oh, well, let's see. Just let me pick the games. Press start. Okay, so our start button doesn't seem to be working on our controller. And if there's any of our other buttons. Okay, right, so at least we've now got the console working. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take our controller apart and see what we can fix that as well. Alright, so let's get our controller apart and see if we can figure out what's going on there. Okay, so did I just move those when I <laughs> opened it up or were they already loose? Uh, hmm, a bit weird, that was right over there, that one. Okay, so we look inside, we can see that our contacts are a bit dirty and we also have a yeah, big bit of fluff as well, disgusting. So same thing applies, I'm going to give this all a good clean. Uh, have a quick look at the old circuit board and see if we can see anything wrong with it. At first glance though, it all appears to be okay. I can't see any corrosion issues or broken traces yet. So we'll start by giving it all a good clean and then we can go from there. relatively clean actually which is nice okay can't see anything wrong elsewhere that's why I'm here oops a daisy let's get these buttons out and give them a good old clean as well See the amount of dirt that's built up on them. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay, so I'm going to put all this back together again and then we're going to give it another test and hopefully that's all it needs. All right, so I've come upstairs so I can get a little bit of peace and quiet from the family. So I've got my controller now back together so we're going to give this a test okay now so streets of rage golden axe or oh, let's put a bit of golden axe on for start start is working see go Okay, so let's get through, arcade. Oh yes, always like being the dwarf. Let's show you now it's working. Skip, skip, skip. Oh, didn't want to do my posting straight away. 
Okay. There we go. So, and now C button, jump, jump. Yep. Okay. Start. It's working. It's pausing. And then we have our up, down, left, and right. Okay. All our controls are working. So it looks like really all this uh, needed was just a good clean to just uh, put it back to working condition again. So what I'm going to do now, switch that off, is I'm going to put all this back together. I'm going to give the Mega Drive a good clean from the outside and then we'll be good to go. Right, so we can see this is in a quite dirty condition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out this LED and our reset button. There we go. Our back section, let's take out this metal shielding at the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna stick all this in some soapy water and give it a good clean. And here we have our finished article. You can see it definitely looks a lot better than it did originally. I'm quite happy with that. It's come up really nice. Another console that's been saved from the scrap heap, and this one's now ready to go back out into the world. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, remember, just hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.